Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 and welcome to my live stream. Um, I am going to start saying at the beginning of all, of all my live streams from now on that this is an adult's colouring channel. It is not for children. There may be adult content within the chat, so it is most definitely adult only. Thank you, and the disclaimer will be in the description. Welcome, everybody. Hopefully, more people will come in. I know I haven't put my schedule up today. So we'll just see how many come in. If not, we'll just party here on my own with Ashley listening. <laughs> Hopefully, my internet signal will stay good. I've got... Oh, you may experience buffering, so we will see how we go. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. So I'll just give everyone a few minutes to come in. Um, and I'll just get the colours out that I want to use because I want to do the moon and then we're going to do the cat fur. So I hope everybody's had a good Halloween. And hopefully people start bobbing along. So I'm going to be using markers today. <laughs> it's not like me to use markers, I know. But when it came to doing the cat, it gave best coverage for the fur to do a base coat of marker. Hello, anybody in the background who's lurking away. Welcome, welcome. Hi, cat. It might take a while for everyone to come um, in because I didn't set up a schedule today. I'm just getting all my greys out. Hello, hello. So yeah, at the beginning of each of my stream, I'm going to be doing the little disclaimer, just purely so it's covering my back because of all the reels that um, YouTube are bringing in about children's content so I thought it'd be best that I state it. It might be a quiet one by the looks of it tonight. Okay, so as you can see, I've finished the mock-up image and this is what it will turn out like. Um, and I'm going to be doing the moon today and we're going to be making a start on the fur. Um, obviously, this will be the last one that I do of this image on live stream. <laughs> Don't worry, cat. We'll make a show of it. <laughs> there is people in the background. It does tell me there's eight people watching. So there is people watching. It's just, obviously. Not many chatting. But we're fine. That's good. Oh my gosh, I am butterfingers today. I'm dropping everything. 
going so like i said this will be the last stream of the cap so i'm just gonna do we've seen the wings already be done so we've got to do the moon the same has been done in the bat wings at the top for the little one so that's just exactly the same combo here so i'll do one bat the moon and then i'm going to do a section of the fur and then obviously i'll finish the rest off camera so i'm just going to get this whole bang sharpened i'm really disp i love the fact that this soft white whole barn has managed to give me the glow effect that I've been after. And it's an amazing, amazing, amazing pencil. But this one I've got is very brittle and I think it's broken all the way down the stem. Um, Cause obviously, let me show you. Here is a full size whole barn. And this is what this one's like now after using it on the two streams. So let me just see how long this lag is because I think it will say that you'll experience buffering. So I do apologise. I've got, hi Shannon. <laughs> I have got, my internet is jumping in and out. So we're going to see how well it goes. If it gets really bad, I'll just stop the stream and I'll do an impromptu in the week. Um, so we'll just see how it goes it's a fault in the area apparently so we'll just see what's happening there so as you can see i've only used it since i started this one last sunday on the live stream and i've got half literally half a pencil so i do think i don't think in general the soft white would wear down that quick i think i've just got a dodgy one so how are you shannon how is everybody so we're going to be doing, I'm going to start off with the moon. So obviously we're going to finish, I'll finish the wings off in my own time. We went through the bones, I'll finish some bones tonight. We'll do the moon and the bat and then we'll be starting the fur. And then the rest will be done off camera. Hi Murray, hi Dee. Welcome, welcome. So to start off with my moon, I'll use my darkest grey, which is charcoal. And then all I'm going to do is random areas of dark. No real pattern to it, just whichever way I feel like doing. Hi Shelly, welcome. Uh, and my next stream will be Deborah's second image, uh, the Sugar Skull Lady. So I'll be doing that one on Thursday. Oh, someone's having some fireworks in the background. I wish I could show you them all. <laughs> I can see them going off at the back of the house there. So how is everyone been? Have you had a lovely weekend? What have you all been up to? Hi, Romy. Shelley, have you recovered from Spooktober? <laughs> Once I put these random areas in, these are the craters of the moon. So, like I say, there's no pattern. <laughs> oh no, Shelley, you've not managed to catch up. Oh dear. It was a really good event, though. It's worth it, isn't it? It took me all week to recover from not having my Sunday morning lying. I've never been up so early on a Sunday morning. I had the coffee to keep me awake last Sunday. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going in with my teeny tiny dink, which is mid, uh, 
midnight i think it's called this one so here's where i'm going to be doing the craters it's like i can't bring myself to stop using the little thing let me just zoom in would help if you could all see what i was doing There we go, that's much better. Drive safely, Ashley. So this one's going to have a bigger crater. On my original one. Hi, Tonya. On my original one, I did quite small ones. So on this one, I just want to do a bigger one. <laughs> bigger craters. A lot bigger craters. Tonya, what are you having for your tea? <laughs> so the craters of the moon. Looks a bit like cheese. But can I tell you that spooked over event was really, really good. I really enjoyed every minute of it and watching everyone and meeting some lovely new streamers I didn't know was out there. So that was good. I really enjoyed every minute of it. It's lovely when you get to be part of these colour thongs. It's the same when Shannon asked me to do the furries in fall one and I met Tonya Murray. Um and I didn't know Tonya Murray before that colour thon and I'm really grateful now because the part of my at the minute now the kids have gone back to school and things aren't being affected the same. My Saturday night entertainment. I wait for Saturday night, then I can stay up and watch Tonya and Murray on Gemini adult colouring um because i can't watch them in the week now and i'm gutted <laughs> oh gosh yeah it's dinner time there isn't it um so yeah these colorathons are amazing for the community and us streamers meeting new streamers who we can go and enjoy and watch um as well So, yeah, it gives you something to look forward to as well. So, when's the next one? Who's doing another colour a thon? Is anyone having one at Christmas? If so, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I'm very happy I met Mira and Tonya. And I still need your address, ladies. So in between here, I'm just going to do a slight random, just squiggle the lines. It's just to break up or act like the surface of the moon because the surface of the moon is not completely white, even though it glows. <laughs> Same with the cake. Have you been making cake? What cake is this? I'm sure a cat, if they put it in a suction pack packet, they'd be able to send it to you. <laughs> It'll preserve it till it arrives here in the UK. So that one was medium grey. So, so far I've used charcoal, midnight and uh, monarchs medium grey. And then now I'm going to go around the very edge with Holbein's soft white. Have a bit more control over it this time because I've not got a wobbly end. <laughs> if that even sounds right, a wobbly end. Gosh, I've got a new lamp that's a brilliant white lamp. 
Whew, can I tell you the heat coming off it? I feel like I'm in a sunbed. I honestly do. So now I'm going round the edge of the moon. This is how we're going to make it glow. I'm taking out the black line. And this is why I've not burnished the night sky yet. Because I want to put another layer on, but I needed to do the moon first. Before I put another darker layer on top of that last section. Hi, Nick and Tina. How are you? Have you recovered from your spooktober? Your image of colour for Michelle was lovely. And I'm still going. I'm very slow and behind, so unfortunately. And I'm down a day because of my flaming internet. So... Hopefully you've managed to get through your Spooktober images. <laughs> oh, do you know, I was at my um, friend's last night, nipped and seen my friend, and we was watching... Um, <laughs> watching this channel that we found on youtube and it was so funny and uh, it come up and it says at the end please subscribe to my channel and tickle my bell <laughs> well i've sat on coach and i've cracked off laughing and i'm thinking well i've heard of whack that bell push that bell ring that bell but when he said Oh, when he said that on um, on that st um, channel last, I'm lost for words. It was so funny. <laughs> he still tickles me now. Oh, dear me. And it, it was laughing and I said to him all, I'm going to say that on my stream. So I'm only saying it the once. Only the ones. <gasps> Who's spoiling you, Shannon? What have you got? I feel like I've hardly done anything on this one. It's because I've finished the other one. I feel like I've done loads, but I've not actually done it. I've hardly done anything on this one compared to the other one. But I use the... Um... I use the uh, Spectrum Noir sparkle brushes on... Um... On the mock-up page. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. It's only fine. I don't know if you can see it. Sparkling now. I can capture it sparkling. But I can't on this. You'll have to tell me if you can all see it. It's on the sky. Looks really good. I put it on the... Um, epic events page anyway so if you want to see the sparkle of the spectrum noir pens it is on there can't really see it so well on there you've got medals I'm going to come out about your fair. Your fair, that's a new word. And then I'm going to get navy blue, which is the 
darkest colour is. I'm just going to turn you on. I'm very sorry. And I'm just going to blend that edge out. A seal of approval emoji. <laughs> Is there not one? Well, I've been uh, doing my little alien today and I've recorded how to do the skin I did on him and the autumn leaves. So I've done a video, like a how to quick speed through video that will be going on my channel in a few in a day or so. Should be uploaded tomorrow. I should say I'll finish editing it tomorrow and then I'll upload it. So this is I'm going to put the next layer of that navy blue on. Ooh, tenderful enchantments. That sounds good, Murray. You'll have to show me you streaming tonight. I might come on tonight before I fall asleep. <laughs> I haven't got any of her books. I think I might need to um, invest in one. I think everybody has them. Eastern time, which is, uh, oh, it might be about one o'clock in the morning, that, for me. Ooh. So I'm just going to flick this now on this side. Flick in the soft white. This is just giving it that effect of, like, I don't know the word for it, like it's radiating out, if that's the right word for it. The way I'm doing it is probably the simplest way. <laughs> I would, mine's not probably the best way or anything like that, but. Oh, 2 a.m. Oh, maybe I won't be. <laughs> I'll have to show it in it. Um, Murray and I'll watch the play back in the morning. I've got my DAC diamond paintings to unbox as well. I need to start my corpse brad. I wanted to start it this month. Now I've nearly finished my horse. So this is just the navy blue, what I used in the very first live stream where I did the background. So this was like the fourth colour to the sky. And we're just working on this glow. From the moon. Jack and, I nearly got Jack and Sally. And then he ended up getting the corpse bride one. I don't think she's not the corpse bride. Is she? I don't know what they've actually called it. Now I can't remember. But I call it the corpse bride. So I need to. Get them out and have a go. I've been too scared. 
because I didn't want to mess it up. Ooh, that was quick. Homemade chocolate syrup. Mmm. Oh, that, that was nice driving home to that oozing chocolate smell radiated from your passenger seat. So there we go. I think that effect is coming. I want it to feel like it's floating away the glow. So hopefully that's what's happening with this. So then we're going to come back in with the soft white hole band here. And then we're going to change to light grey. And because it's on tone tanned, it will um, show up really quite light. And I'm just going to go in between all the grey lines that we created earlier on. It's more like a fantasy moon rather than a realistic moon. But I like it. I just like the effect you get from it. And it just looks like it's gl proper glowing with that soft white. But I'm not too bothered about it looking real. I'm more bothered about it glowing. <laughs> Hi Louise, how are you? Welcome. And what have you been up to this weekend, honey? So this, yeah, this is light grey what I'm using here. So what's everyone, has anyone bought any spooked over images? And if they have, which ones have they completed? And I do need to tell everybody that I'll be doing a Halloween event in my Facebook group called um, Colouring and Spooky Stories. Um, where it, we will be having, or should I say, I'll be featuring... Um, some of our supernatural diaries team who'll be coming into the live stream on facebook this is on friday the 30th let me just get the um let me get the flyer up for you one second calling it a flyer it's not even a flyer it's just a So here it is. Can you all see that? Come up a bit closer. Let me actually, i tell you what I'll do. I'll actually put it up on screen. That'll be a lot easier, wouldn't it?
be a lot easier. To pull it up on the stream. Bear with me a second. Oh, you're welcome, Alison, and hello and welcome. Let me just pull this off and then put it on screen. Do you, bear with me a second, my computer is running so slow. Okay, let me pull this onto OBS. So hopefully you're all members of Shell RT and Colouring Friends. Uh, because you'll need to be if you want in on the Halloween party that I'll be doing. Let me just pull this image in. Okay, so I'll pull this down. So here it is. It's Shell RT invites you to Facebook Live party on the 30th of October, Friday at 8pm. I'm going to be giving away my image, I'll show you that in a second, free to all members um, of the group. And then on this side, it, it will, where you see the blank bit under the ghost, there's going to be a picture of Supernatural Diaries. And we'll be having stories from hopefully each one of the team. Hi, Kenny. So we'll have the team telling you all about experiences they've had uh, on ghost hunts or in their own personal lives and then our the owner of supernatural diaries uh, anthony hindley he's our medium as well he's going to be coming on and doing a little talk and maybe a few stories see what he does um so that will be really fun so if you're not already please join shell and and coloring friends um, I will put the link in the description. Uh, head on over to our Facebook group and that will be happening on the 30th. And the image, I just need to do, get it up onto a better one. I'm just going to put my pencil over it. Um, everyone will be receiving this. Hopefully everyone likes it. <laughs> Let me just pull this out a second. So this is the image that I drew. I'm going to balance it all out and put it up. Uh, on my um, iPad and just straighten it all up before I give it to y'all because there's parts of it I'm not happy with and not it's not symmetrical and stuff like that. So I'm going to write it up, but this is the image that you'll all be get be given if you're a member of the group um, to colour, and I'll be colouring this live on the night as well. So that's on the 30th of December. So please join us on Shell Art and Colouring Friends. I think a lot of you are already members anyway but it's a nice little halloween treat for the members let me just check i didn't miss anything then oh no well i hope you have a better week louise and you know where i am if you ever need a chat can you give me a message i'm a good listener and a good shoulder sometimes. <laughs> oh, ton of chocolate. <laughs> It has definitely been a miserable year. Alison, hopefully 2021 will be a lot better. October 30th it is, yeah, Kat. Hi, Kelly. How are you?
Are you okay, Kenny? You are very welcome, Louise. Oh, no, what's the matter? Are you having technical hiccups there, Kenny? Very well, uh, Kelly, thank you very much. Hopefully this stream holds out. It's doing well so far and I've got the red line of doom has disappeared and gone back green. So hopefully things stay how they should. My chat has froze on my actual live stream. So I've got, but it's still going on my... It's still going on my screen, so we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. So that's the moon finished. And like I said, I was absolutely amazing on that live stream, the so two Spooktober ones, even though I did have trouble at the night. Oh, no, Kenny. I hope you're okay, honey. Come on, let's cheer everybody up. Everyone's having bad days and bad weekends. Come on, how can we cheer everybody up? Let's get motivated. And then that, <laughs> never mind, you don't want to know the song that's just come in my head then. What is this fly doing? Let me just get rid of this fly because it's trying to attack me. And it's driving me hotter, get away. It's attacking my face. Oh, I hate killing things. Did I get it? Uh, oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> Just bear with me one second. Where's the thing gone? I'm sure it's like a little mosquito and it keeps trying to land on me. Kenny, same goes to you. If you want, if you need to message or speak to anyone, I'm here anytime. Give me a message. I'm always a good listener. So just need to do the same with this part of the moon. And I've moved on to Blue Daisy for this bit here. Again, I'm just going to pull it out. I would break out in song and try and cheer you all up, but I think you'd all run away with fear of my voice, so I won't do that. <laughs> no problem, Kenny. How do vampires get around? I've no idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thirsty on blood vessels. <laughs> Where does a ghost go to on vacation? Mallet boo. <laughs> so again, I'm just flicking because I'm going to pull this out. So cat's jokes are better than my singing. So that's good. Why do mummies take time off? Hi, Emily. Oh, no problem. Thanks for lurking and thanks for the thumbs up. And this midge is back, landing on me. Oh! Wait a minute, one second, because I'm going to get mad at it. I might have to get it with my cute and creeper book. Wait for it to land. Let me just carry on, because every time I lean forward and carry on, the thing lands on me. Oh, 
and then I'm going to go back in just brighten up some of this white and then I'll add bits of the white in between the moon where the craters are and then it just brings together that glowing effect this pencil is amazing for glowing if you want anything to glow get this pencil <laughs> Oh, get well soon, Alison. I'm waiting for this midgif at land and then I'm going to get it with my book. So in between. Oh, I'd love to be a vampire. I would love it. Just to fly. Oh, it's like the bit in Twilight where she becomes a vampire and um, she can see everything in such fine detail and hear everything. And and you'd be minted, wouldn't you? Because you'd never, you don't need to eat. <laughs> so all I'm just doing with this is just literally picking out hers and that's how I do my fantasy glowing moon so that's the moon finished off now let's see what I need to finish on here so let's finish this one wing let's finish these bones so we need huntsman tarantula huntsman stink bug and peach the greys are already out and the burgundy oh i've ate way too much for my tea again i feel a bit sick <laughs> I'm whiter than pale. I'm whiter than pale as well. I'm with you. I'm in the pale club. I'm most definitely in the pale club. I'm a natural ginger, although you never get to see my ginger roots because I don't let them show unless my colour needs doing really, really bad. Um, otherwise, I don't have ginger eyebrows for whatever reason. So no one knows I'm a natural ginger unless my roots get too long which is fine by me but I am I've got white legs white hands white arms white everything but I totally understand Alison because my mum's had two strokes and her memory is quite bad anyway um, from her strokes I think it depends on which side as well you have it on, doesn't it? Okay, so let's just finish this last wing here. So this is Huntsman. And I forgot straight away to do the veins. This is Burgundy. And we did these lovely little veins. we go yeah she's fine she's she had one when we was younger after a car accident and then she had one um a few years ago before my dad got ill and she just lost the use of her left arm all day and i think it was a mini stroke that one so now she has to be careful 
So yeah, but it has left her with a bit of memory struggles. She'll like get, she'll come out the house and then she'll get in the car and she'll go, did I lock the door? And I'll go, I don't know, I didn't take any notice. She's, she has to go back and she's always doing stuff like that. But then again, I do that as well. But mine's more stress related forgetfulness. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's... My mum's forgot a lot of stuff from when we was a kid as well. So I don't know which part of her memory it's done, but I do know that she's not. I'm zoomed out again. I do apologise. Let me just zoom back in. There we go. And then this is Tarantula. We're just following round the edge of Huntsman with tarantula yeah she'll be fine she's just got to make sure she doesn't have any more hopefully touch wood and same with you hopefully everything gets back to normal healthiness for you Alison and then stink bug go in here with storm blue As this is like a corpse kind of bat a corpse bat wing isn't it so it's like kind of dead if that's the right word to use I'm sure you will do a lot of meditation as well if you can that's good for the mind the imagination helps you remember, I think. My mum does it now. She goes to bed um, with the meditation on her, on her headphones. And it really helps her imagination come back and stuff like that. It's like brain training, isn't it? After you've lost something for a bit. So I know it helps her focus as well. So maybe try that, Alison some nice meditation there's a lot of guided meditations on youtube if you want to try it out so who's got any good ghost stories for me i told a lot of ghost stories over the spooktober weekend but i love to hear everybody else's experience so who's got a juicy ghost story? No problem, Alison. It's honestly, it's good for anybody meditation. Whether you believe in spiritual stuff as in uh, guides and stuff like that. And it's good if you believe in them. It's it, You don't need to use it. If you don't, you can just use it as mindfulness and your own health and well-being. In the process of the weekend, I've lost a pencil. So, I'll just check it's not under the desk. One is. No, my um, 
Black Widow Black has gone. So I'm just going to be using Midnight. It's virtually the same colour anyway. And I'll open my new tin to get the next one out. Best ghost stories I don't remember, but I was at a camp around a campfire with Paul Newman telling them. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. How are you? Welcome. I love a good ghost story. Okay, so let's move on to these bones. I'll use charcoal. It's charcoal medium grey and light grey on these bones <laughs> Alice said it's fine I will get one I keep thinking I need to order one and then I just keep forgetting but I will get them because he's like virtually tinker so yeah it would be a good idea that I actually got a pencil extender so let's so I was using charcoal here and I was blending that out from the red. I think I've already started so because I literally just I didn't realise how close I was to Emily's stream that night and I had like three minutes and I literally finished the end of the ghost story I was telling and then went right bye <laughs> Tired as I've just finished a shift but glad to have caught the live stream. Oh no problem. I'm glad you here and caught us. Have you had a hard day at work? So then medium grey and then light grey in the middle. Oh, that's lovely of you, Alison. But postage to the UK is extortionate at the minute. Not too sure what it's like over there. Uh, but for me to post out to the USA, it's really extortionate. Let's just go in a bit heavier with the burgundy. And then I think I might do one of the Speak Tobers. I need to confirm with Deborah first. Hi, Heather. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Heather. No problem. Just saying hi is fine. No idea what it's like here. I don't snail mail much. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think they're too they're very much to buy. I will get. It's the first time I've had a tiny little pencil. So. Let me just sharpen these up. Sorry if it's loud. How have you been, Heather? So 
let's just go back in with charcoal. And then in with white grey. Must have rubbed some of this red off during the moon. It's all gone. Literally come off. It's surprising how fast time went on Spooktober as well. For I knew it, two hours was gone. I was like, whoa. What it feels like, it's the same when I'm on here at night and I'm streaming. And before I know it, I've been on stream two hours and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's flown by. But that's because all you guys are amazing. I could probably stream for hours and hours and hours and hours so long as everyone was talking to me. Let's get this red back in because it's come off from doing the moon. So, back in with charcoal. very quiet for a Sunday night tonight oh thank you Ashley it is cool my little moon I did it ye uh, last year in the colour in heaven magazine and I wanted to redo it this year like bringing something from last year into this year I thought it was pretty cool So I think it was around this time of year, last year, a bit earlier on when I started posting stuff in groups and things like that. Because I've adult coloured for a long time, it's just about not been in the com colouring community for a long time. So on this bone, I'm keeping the dark grey at the bottom and then working up with the medium grey. And then the white light grey is then going along the top of the bone. And I'm running that up here because it's going to have the light from the moon on it. Hi, Roslyn. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> they are on a Sunday, isn't it? It's just like... It's either dead relaxed and chilled or it's dead hyper and laughing my head off. It's one or the other and I must need a chill night tonight. So let's just go in here and define some of these bones. Put the shadow in. I hope you can all see even though I'm using the little dinky one. This is just to give it the definition. I'll go back over it with the red in a second. I know I've got so, there's some um, 
streams that I've watched in the past and the voices are so soothing that I've fallen asleep. <laughs> yes, I've got little dink in. This will be his last yeehaw, I think. But then Kenny said to me there's loads of miles in this pencil yet. So we'll see. He was dragged around the park by my two manic Labradors and nearly hit a tree. The lamppost nearly fell over at least twice and had to run from a sheepdog. <laughs> oh, dearie. Yes, I do. <laughs> do you know, I've done it that once that Shannon told me about. I don't think I've done one since. I hope not, unless any of you want to enlighten me that I was in a stream that I wasn't aware of um, but I don't think I've done it lately she says hesitantly <laughs> honestly when Shannon told me about that I felt like I do you know when because I used to sleepwalk when I was younger I'll tell you a story about that I used to sleepwalk so when Shannon told me I'd done that, it was like that moment of someone telling you you sleepwalked and you had no recollection of it whatsoever. And it really worried me because I was thinking, well, what was I saying to everyone? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, send me the link over, Lee. Thank you. You are right, Shannon. <laughs> that that would be a doggy walk for me, that cat, if my giant schnauzer wasn't on his halter. It'd drag me all over the shop, so I'm definitely, I'd get your pain on that one. So, yeah, let me tell you about when I sleepwalked when I was about 12. And we went on holiday to Spain. And my dad was in bed this one night and he heard the front door go. Oh, no problem, Jane. <laughs> um, And he heard the, the actual hotel room door open and shut. And he was like, what the heck was that? So he's gone out um, to check who was like mauling with the door. So I'm using charcoal here on these bony bits. Um, he's gone out to check who's at the door. And lo and behold, there's me tottering off down the corridor. And he shouts me and he says, Shell, where are you going? Hi, Tammy. How are you? Thank you for coming. Uh, he shouts me, Shell, what are you doing? And I didn't answer him. So he's obviously caught me up in this corridor. And he's turned me around and he said, obviously, I wasn't even awake. I was looking at him awake, but I wasn't on this planet. And he said, where are you going? Now, bearing in mind, we're in Spain. Oh, thank you, Roslyn. Woo, you're up early. <laughs> Tammy, stay there where you are. <laughs> Don't get up. Have a, have a bit more. Have a few more hours. <laughs> um, and he's saying to me, Shell, what are you doing? And, he, and I says to my dad, I'm going home. I need to go home. And he's going, you can't go home. We're on holiday. You can't go home. You, you need to come and get back in bed. And he's gone. And he said, yeah, that I've said to him, yeah, that's where I'm going. I'm, go, I'm going home to go to bed. It's like, I think you better go back in here. And he's guiding me back to the hotel room. Uh, I'm using light grey now. And then, in the morning, he's woke me up and he said, um, do you remember anything from last night? And I was like, no, why? 
do you remember walking out the apartment or anything like that? And I went, no, what are you on about? And he told me, he said, well, you went sleepwalking last night. You went out of the actual apartment and down the corridor. And um, I went, did I? He said, yeah. Do you not remember any of it? And I was like, no, not at all. And it actually scared me then. I didn't want to go to sleep. So the night after he actually propped a dining table chair up against the hotel room door and locked it from the inside with the key so I couldn't do it again. And it act it absolutely scared me because I was thinking, where would I have walked to? Would I have walked out of the apartment? What would I have done? Oh, well, after my uh, spooked over stream that was on Sunday at 8 a.m., I'm thinking of doing a stream in the week um, about nine, uh, about half past nine UK time uh, in the morning, um, purely because I met some lovely people on the stream that I did on the Sunday morning at 8 a.m., and a lot of them for, was from Australia away and some from other parts of the country but i met some lovely people and a lot was saying that the times i stream at night obviously they're in bed so i'm thinking of doing a stream around 9 9 a.m in the week um and then at least i can connect with the people that i miss on my night streams <laughs> That, Lisa, that is a good thing. I definitely had my nighty on. Probably if I was older, that would have been in my bra and knickers. But I was younger. But it, it terrified me that I had no recollection of walking out of that door. And, and I was thinking, what if I'd have, what if my dad hadn't have heard me? Where would I have gone? <laughs> oh, no worry, Roslyn. I, I'm terrible for typing and typing all weird stuff anyway. So a lot of people find with me that that's what they need to do. So I'm using my Spectrum Noir Illustrator marker. I'm just going to do the bats at the top here quickly. So I'm just going to mark his body shape out here. Close all that in black. This is true black. Just put that lid there because these markers are absolute are quite good. Yeah, quite good. And then I'm just gonna go around the edge. Obviously nothing compares to Corpix, do they? But these are pretty they're pretty alright. Weekday stream. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm not too sure what day. It won't be a Tuesday because I um I'm at college on a Tuesday, so it'll be. I'm thinking because I stream on Thursday night. I'm thinking of doing it on a Monday morning. Um. Thinking. <laughs> So I'll try and work my plans out and see how that works with others. I don't think there's many UK streamers or across the pond streamers on at that time in the morning. So I'll have a look because I don't want to be stepping on any other streamers' toes. But I'll have a see. Have a see what I can do. They went a bit wrong with that wing then. And this wing. <laughs> I've no idea what to do it. Hello, Wilson. Hi, Aspie. Welcome. What have you all been up to this weekend? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> she, the time is out of bed and the cap, coffee's en route. <laughs> How good with that? You could just click things and go, whoop, coffee. There it is. Voila. No problem. Eat, colour and watch YouTube. <laughs> That's all I've been doing. So I'm going to use the same combo here. I'm just going to show you one of these bats and then we'll move on. So I'll do the bigger one so you can all see. So all I've done is the same aspect. So I've used Huntsman just around the top edge. And all the Australians was telling me last Sunday when I was called this the Huntsman, they was all talking about the um, Black Widow spider, not the Black Widow, the Huntsman spider, and how big they were and how horrible they were. And I was like, oh, that's why I couldn't live in Australia because my friend lives in Australia and she sent me pictures. She used to live where I lived and she's moved over there. And she sent me some pictures of some Huntsmans that she sees in her house. And I'm like, oh, God, no. <laughs> Jane, you need to like, um, Louise does a good thing and I've seen it on a, you do it in squares, don't you, Louise, if you're still here and literally you're going to have to do a square and out and limit yourself to that square and out because you're going through diamond pits, you've done about eight. She already bought files to put them in. <laughs> oh, I painted my nails before I came on. I've had enough of blood dripped nails. So now they're just plain purple. So then I'm going in with tarantula. And do you know, um, someone's took inspiration from the colour I'd done the wings and used it as a skin tone and it absolutely is a beautiful skin tone. So Huntsman, Tarantula, Stink Bug and Peach makes an amazing skin tone. So if anyone wants to use it, skin tone combo there. So I'm going to try it on skin next when I do um, Deborah's second image on Thursday if I don't do an in start it on an impromptu we're missing one <laughs> cat you weren't warned <laughs> yay whoop whoop full set <laughs> I need to get the pencil case from all now because having them in all these tins is driving me potter. <laughs> there you go, Louise. Is there she sections it off in squares? So you're going to have to do that, Louise. Jane Fan, uh, Louise Cooper on Instagram. Um, and have a look at what she does on her diamond paints. It's it's really cool. And that should control your OCD of doing half a diamond painting and art. <laughs> she sends me messages. Shell, look, we're up to like flipping X, slow down. But then, I suppose, some people go really fast, but I can't. Whether it be colouring or diamond paint. Tarantula. <gasps> Ooh, completely glittered. Nice. Send me a picture. I want mine done Halloween. I'm going to have to get on to the girl that does my nails. And then stink bug. So that's how I did the wings on the bats 
and then I just got my white Posca pen. I'll just give him a little eye and just give him a little highlight on the body. So that's the wing done, the moon done, the bat, the background. So now I'm going to do the cat. I'm just going to zoom out on this. Now, I will warn everybody, I am not good with markers. <laughs> I am not good at all. I'm only learning with them. I'm only using it as a base. So I'm going to put all the marker down. Um, so bear with me. Was it hard work, Alison? <laughs> um, so bear with me with the marker. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to zoom out because this bit I all did off. I've not shown anyone this bit, obviously, because to do the cat, as you can see here, the tail's got different sections. So it was. I did it. I did the head without marker underneath it and then I did the body with the marker underneath it and you can tell the difference like it's a bit see through here where here it's got quite good coverage so this is what we're going to go with so let me just so these are the colours we're using and I'm using one classic um, chisel one then the rest are brush markers and the others a blender wherever the blender's gone i keep putting things back what i need out i'm terrible one second i don't recall putting it back not put it back wait a minute I must have put it back So just why I find this marker, these are the the markers I'm using. And then when I get decent with markers, see my tub got knocked off today and everything went flying. And my blender marker's gone. Let me just go rooting under my desk. Bear with me a second. I found a pencil that I was missing. There's my pencil I was missing. Don't worry about it. We'll blend it with the lighter grey. So everyone's having a go. <laughs> I stink at markers, Ashley, I tell you I do. Uh, I'm not the best, but... Shell, have you told them about the stone throwing? Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Alison. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Shannon's lost it. What's up with Shannon? Is she all right? No way. Nothing, Shannon. You haven't coloured anything. That's not like you. Are you okay? <laughs> Oh, I love snack drawers. Oh, a whole drawer full of candy. So, yeah, these are what I'm using, the Illustrator by Spectrum Noir. And they are, they're, they're pretty good markers. I mean, I don't have Copics, so I can't tell you what Copics are like. But what I can tell you is, these are all right. They're quite juicy, if that's the right word to use. So first of all, I'm going to go in with the brush. And I'm going to put in where I want all the darker areas. First. And I've just left it out, not very zoomed in, because I think you can kind of see what I'm doing. This is true black. I'll just, I'll zoom in a little bit. I'm just a bit scared in case it all goes wrong and you're all going to see me do it wrong. <laughs> but when I did it like this, the actual cat looked pretty good. Actually just marker. So I'm putting all what would be, and I'm doing it in flashes like this because I'm going to put, I'm going to blend it out with the lighter grey, if that makes sense, but I want to, to look like it's got strokes in poly, anyone that uses markers are probably going to say, what the heck is Shell doing at all? <laughs> Oh, did you not like them, Alison? So then I'm going in with Ice Grey 6, which is the next darkest grey. And I'm kind of going to blend with this as well. And what I did here, I kind of put the line in that that's the cheekbone of the cat. Get rid of that harsh edge. One thing I find hard to control is the brush nibs really, really soft. So it's like, whoop, before you know it, you've gone out the lines. <laughs> Oh, I'm missing the tips. Hi, Robin. How are you? Hi, Anna. Welcome, welcome. So then here, I want a tiny bit the black. So I'm switching, not the brush tip side, the, the little side. I'm just going to flick some of them. And I'm going to go up the side of the nose here too. And all around the eyes.
Oh, Ohio's. I've heard quite a few people talk about the Ohio market. So then here, let's just get the brush side out again. Do need to remember to put the lids on. Keep forgetting to put the lids on. So then under the mouth here is also black. Turn all the way around. Kind of looks a bit weird, doesn't it? I'm trying to imagine the way the cat's fur would go. kind of hi Dee Dee how are you honey welcome so you're all seeing me experiment with the um, markers here so we'll like I said I'm not the best I mean the ones I've seen do markers like Belinda and Sammy they do amazing with markers If I'm being honest, Marcus scare me. Okay, so let's just finish head. So we've got the back to the ice grey too. What is with all these things on my page tonight? Now I've got splatted bug. Let me just shut this window. I think they're all coming in through the window. I'll just hide that so we all can't see you splatted book. I'm very sorry about that. Hi, Kenny. You're back, honey. So let's just bring this grey here. I might get some Hawaiios. Hi, Grace. How are you, honey? Welcome, welcome. You have more faith in man, Jane. I just go in with how I feel like how I want to use them. I don't know if it's right or so in between we've got the darkest greys here. But like I said, it looks pretty cool in marker, just on its own, when it was done. So much quicker as well, marker. So then the chisel tip comes out. No problem, Alison. Have a lovely week. And I'll see you on the next stream. And then the top of his nose. Okay. 
here and then bring all this down here the lightest area Sorry if I miss anyone, kind of concentrating. Have more faith in myself. <laughs> Sorry, Jane. <laughs> I was just thinking, what on earth are we talking about here? Oh, no problem, Grace. I'm glad um, I'm here. I'm on for you, honey. No, you definitely can't erase them. That's what it does scare me. So here now I'm just going to use... And they dry lighter than I expected as well. So where I expect... I think that was it for... Light oh, here. A bit lighter. And then back to, I think this one we decided was too light. Yeah, that one was too light, so we didn't use that one. So then I'm going to go in here with the black. then pull it out with the cool grey six but don't pass these up as well because these are pretty good markers i'm just going to work the edge out a bit here They pretty much blend themselves. You don't need to use the blender even though my blender's gone walk about somewhere. I hate that scratchy noise they make though. Then let me just use this one. Which is cool ice grey too. I'm just gonna blend that into that lighter colour. So I'm kinda using this like a blender. And I found that if I do it in sections, I don't kinda mess it up as easy. So let's put in where we'd want the true black. Oops. <laughs> Sorry they was late, sir. <laughs> Blame Shell in the UK. Blame me, it's fine. I don't mind. So I'm doing it like this because I don't really want, I don't want it to be a thick black because it's harder to get rid of. It's hard for anything to show up over the top of it, should I say. That's what I'm trying to say. So 
I kind of did it like this. And then kind of went like that on each toe. And then I'll blend it out with And then back in with Ice Grey 6. where his toes are. I'm going to put that back. I'm just going to pull that out a bit. No problem, Rosalind. Thank you for bobbing in. I really appreciate it and I hope they get to school on time. <laughs> I've not delayed you too much. Have a lovely day. But I have a lot to learn with markers. That is definitely. Oh, you're doing the witch, Kenny. I really want to have a go at the grand witch. So good. I've never done old skin. Oh, I'm going to watch a streams in the week in between my college work and have a go. <laughs> They're all going to be saying a big thing. Who is this shell artist that's delayed all us this morning? <laughs> I'm going to go back with true black. Just do flicky bits here. Just turn it. <laughs> Most wanted. <laughs> Are you be sending me all your fans for your kids being late for school? <laughs> I think you'll definitely be able to do it, Kenny. Yes, Lou. Your holidays are way out from ours, aren't they? We've got another week, a week and a half. How much have you... Have you started it yet, Kenny?
I know it's it is very weird. It's the same as some of the clocks gone back in parts of the country already. Ours haven't gone back yet. You'd think they'd all go on the same time. Sorry, I'm keep trying to keep up with what everyone's saying. Oh, what pencils have you gone with, Kenny? Gosh, I'm on the going out the lines parade today, me. On here. <laughs> more like a bird wing <laughs> so I'm just going to do some very fine flicks here at least I can flickety flick with a marker I only want the edge. Just want the very edge of that light. Like the, the light's just catching the tip of the leg. And you just go back in between and kind of blend some of that dark out. Hello, Della. How are you? <laughs> Only 30 pencils, that's nothing. Do a bit of blending. Let me fade some of these lines off a bit with this lighter grey. So my whole aim was just to put enough of a base coat down that where I used the black pencil was enough black underneath. I 
the sections we want lighter grey. You're grilling hot dogs. Mmm. I'm actually scared of the old lady. <laughs> I really want to have a go, but I'm actually... I think it'll be hard. Are you still lurking, Kenny? No problem. I wouldn't like to know how many I've used on here so far. One, two, there's probably quite a lot if I counted them up. I seriously need to invest in some prisoners because I do have the small um what you call it set the 60 set but I'm struggling when people are doing things with prisoner colour that I can't follow them because I don't have enough of them or I need to start doing um what you call it start converting them to polys You know, because it's the only set that everybody has, and I think, oh, I really need to get that set. Oh, are you videoing today? <laughs> I've done that this morning, and then I've just got to, um, so all on my timeline, I've just got to add some music to it now, and then it'll take about 20 hours to produce. <laughs> so in here, I'll do little flicks. I seriously need to watch Belinda or someone who does animals with markers, what they do with the base fur. Probably not even doing it right. <laughs> Get the chisel one I'll go in between here. I don't like the chisel markers, I definitely know I don't like them. These are in a set. And I don't rather really use these because they're big and bulky. Prismas are life. I draw Prisma shell, you won't regret it. I'm just waiting for them to come down. They used to be about ooh, you could probably get a set for about 89 pound in the uk the 150 set and at the minute they're about 140 before covid so i'm just i'm waiting oh my family's gonna be like right get this on my christmas list <laughs> get this i want this and then i want a private reg plate because my new car i seen on i was looking on private reg plates and I can get one that says Shell Arte. <laughs> I was thinking, should I do it? Right, so there's the cap done. That's the base down anyway. So let's get the pencils out for flicking. I think I'm seriously going to have to get my new midnight out because that's just too small. <clears throat> So I need medium and I need coal, charcoal. Just 
Just bear with me everyone for a second. Sorry about that. I was going to have a choking fit on you all. I don't know where that came from. I'll just get this new set out. Ooh. So, tiny dink there until I get a pencil extenders done. Boiled dinner. Or oh, have you got a whole set as well? wrong one whatever this should be it oh shiny new pencil they stink they absolutely stink Hello Yvonne, how are you? Got four thumbs down. <laughs> Lovely. Obviously someone doesn't like me today. <laughs> so the new... Oh, they're actually bigger. So I need these really sharp because we're flicking. Wonder why I've got four. Yeah, well, we'll not worry about that. So we've got Midnight, Black Widow. This is where your pencils just get ground down when you're doing fur or her. Medium. I'm doing fantastic, thank you. And dark grey. So let's get on with the fur. So when I'm doing fur, I just go with the flow of whatever I feel like. And the best way I seem to do it, some jerks being uber harsh, ignore it. <laughs> oh, I don't anymore. I used to do, I just let it go over my head now. It's one of them things. So I'm going to start with the head up here. So all the fur is going to come down towards the neck. So all I do is keep it up on a point and I just flick 
Let me get in close so you can see what I'm doing. And I just flick it in all different directions. So when I'm doing it, I'll show you on this white because it's easier. So if I'm flicking it down, I will do... I don't, I just let my hand go where it wants, so it's not all, that's how I do fur. <laughs> it's probably a quick cheat to where you're doing it actually. Um, so at the minute you can't really see much happening on the dark, because I've put quite a lot of that black marker down. But when I put the lighter grey in in a second, you will see it. Jane Saxon. Yeah. No problem, Nicotina. <laughs> oh, thank you, Yvonne. Yeah, I try not to let it bother me because I just think, well, how many thumbs up have I got compared to how many thumbs down I've got? And you can't be perfect, so... And I'm going with dark grey. Not dark, maybe not dark grey, that's a little bit too... Um... this one yeah that one not dirt we're going in with shadow <laughs> that was a bit too um you kind of break the dark up but it's not sharp enough for fur It can be anything though, thumbs down, can't it? It can be, I'm not talking enough, I'm talking too much, they maybe just don't like me. Because I won't be everyone's cup of tea, will I? So, just take it on chain, take it on chain. Miss thumbed. <laughs> It is. I think that's when I stopped bothering about it, Kenny, because I did, I did stress about it at the start when I first started my channel, and um, that's when I read it. They still class it as interaction, so I was just like, woohoo! But like you said, it's just there to make you think, oh, why have they done that? But I just think there's no point in stressing my little head about it. Because everyone's the same. I suppose there's people I won't necessarily like watching. I don't think, like I said, we're not everyone's cup of tea. And that's fine. You'd probably come on thinking I was some amazing, <laughs> amazing, amazing colours. I know I'm not what they expected. these pencils are out here and I want blue moon out as well <laughs> what's that Love how you did the wing. Awesome colours. Think of the thumbs down as for that person you can't fix, stupid. <laughs> oh, thanks everyone. Hey, well. 
sometimes I get retracted thumbs. You said you see it'll have four, it might have three tomorrow. I'm just gonna put a bit of um blue moon in just because black cats do have a blue tinge. So just a few flicks of blue where the blackest black is. I'm hoping though this cat will come out a bit blacker because there was parts of that other cat that was just like, oh, not happy with that. <laughs> I think um, there's some people like, they don't like it if you turn your page and they like how I need to turn the sheet over purely because my wrists kill me if I over bend. I had what was called a few years ago called sarcoidosis uh, or sarcoid, whichever you want to pronounce it, and it's left my joints funny, so I do have to be careful sometimes. So I'll just put some of that blue in between there. And all this blue just, just gives it a nice undertone. I was meant to start with this blue and forgot. <laughs> oh, dear me. go all over this leg I'm just gonna flick and I'll flick up and I'll flick down as well just to give it texture so anywhere where's the blackest black is where I'll be using this blue moon and I love this color it's a lovely So who got Kirby's new book? I did. And guess what? For me, it's very strange, but it's still in the box. <laughs> I kid you not. It is still in the box. I've just realised I've just done all that leg and none of you could see what I was doing. This way you'll see me go quiet because I just can't, when I'm doing fur or her, I just go really quiet because I'm like, I forget that I'm streaming and I get in the colouring zone and I think, oh, I meant be talking, I meant be talking to you all and I'm just there colouring away in my zone. <laughs> Kill chat again. You did it, Jane. Everyone's just lurking and doing what they're doing. Don't worry about it.
Hello, Murray. <laughs> I do love the monarchs too. This is a monarch. So this blue moon, and every time I see this pencil, it brings me, it makes me think of that song. Blue moon, you saw me standing. Is it on Greece that? I'm trying to watch you do fur so you don't have smooth animals. <laughs> um, I'm just flicking, but I'm flicking in all different directions, Murray. I'm doing like a flick curve, like a flick, like that. Like a C. And then I might take it in like a different direction. That's kind of how I do it, if you can see that. Might be too bright. I don't need light, keeps falling. I've got it pinned up. Can you see that if I pull it up to the camera? And I've done another example of it here on different. But that's how I do my fur. Keep it short. The crystal wants to come out to play, it keeps coming to me. Flicky, flicky, flick. Yes. So that's navy blue. And then we want shadow in between. So we've done all the dark. And we're going to do the shadow bit. And then it's weird because you lighten it up to darken it up again. Well... That's how I find I do it anyway. <laughs> it kind of looks all weird. But then it all just comes together. But I might not even be doing it the right way. You know, the this is just the technique I've picked up myself to do. And believe it or not, I'm part of some patrons that I could probably actually go and watch and get a better technique so maybe I should do that <laughs> <laughs> sexted <laughs> That is gonna stick. That is gonna stick. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Control yourself. Whew, go and give yourself a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jane. <laughs> Calm down. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you 
Jane Sexton. <laughs> right, stop it, Shell. Stop it off. <laughs> Oh dear me, right. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, Chris. <laughs> Whew. Right, let me just. It wasn't even that funny. It's just because I know what Jane's like, and that just cracked me off something funny. Because <laughs> when me and Jane go out, she's very um. Like, I'll be like, come on, Jane, let's pull you a fella. And she's like, no, I don't need a fella. And I'm like, come on, we'll get you. I'll be your wing woman, even though I'm married. And we was on our last night out. It was a while ago, obviously, now. <laughs> these lads was trying to stick it on her. And she's like, she has these lips on a stick. We all had all these little things, like props. And we was in this club. And this lad is quite clearly liking her quite clearly wanting to plant a nice little smooch on her and as he goes to kiss her jane sticks these lips on a stick in front of him and she's like i don't i'm not doing all that i'm not i'm happy on my own so when i read that then it just triggered something really funny in my head <laughs> so i'm very sorry for the um outburst of laughing as ashley says <laughs> she's put the same face Oh, dear me. No? My eyes are running, not my nose. Um, so <laughs> it just tickled me. <laughs> so all the black areas now are the really dark areas. They've got the undertones down, the blue and the light greys. <laughs> oh. I'll lose my voice tomorrow now from all that laughing. It just takes one little thing and I'm off. It's terrible. I'm so very sorry, everybody. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> so these shadow, I'm going to pull into the really light areas now. I'm going to do some even lighter ones in the light area. I'm trying to do this quick. The other cat did quite slow. It took me all day. And this pencil is getting too, even though that still looks sharp, it's not sharp enough for fur. <laughs> Exit pub right away. Oh, we have a good time. She just, if anyone comes near her, she's like, get away from me. I'm singleton and I like it that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny so even this shadow has like a blue cast to it this shadow grey from the monarch set try and be professional now and not laugh my head off like a nutter <laughs> So let me just go back to Blue Moon. And sorry, I need to turn the page. I need to just sharpen Blue Moon. <laughs> well, at least y'all got to hear me laugh again. 
I don't think I've had a bur outburst laugh like that in a good few weeks. But as the warning says, Shell Arte, Breaker of Tips, Slayer of Names and Gob on Legs with a warning, maybe have outbursts of laughter. And the warning just come out. <laughs> it should have warning, warning, laughter coming. <laughs> So Murray, all these are tiny little mini flicks. Mini flick mini flicksies they're called. Mini flicksies. So flicksy, flicksy, flicksy. And everywhere I've put the true black of the marker. And is where I'm putting the Blue moon. And then going in between. If I've walked your husband, Grace, tell him I'm really sorry. Blame it on me. It's fine. <laughs> That's normally me and Mary and Tonya's stream. I'm normally sat watching Mary and Tonya's. And then I start chuckling. And then I wake my husband up and he goes, what the bloody hell are you doing? <laughs> I get shouted at because I start chuckling. But I forget where I am. Because I'm sat there lying in bed because it's late. And then I just burst out laughing really loud so it goes through lots of transformations this fur, it's very bizarre so it's weird how you lighten it up to darken it up So let's go in with the dark. So we're using Black Widow now. No, I won't. I'll use Midnight. Midnight's Big Brother. What I'm going to do this, I'm going to turn it that way and I'm going to flick the opposite way to the way we've been doing with the other pencils. Don't ask why because I don't know. It's just the way I do it. Like I said, you'll either like the way I do it or you won't. As you can tell, as you can see with the pencil, I turn the pencil all the time. And that's just so I get a different kind of flick. So in these black areas, they will go really black. So you're going to see more of the texture in the lighter areas. But in the black, where it's really, really black. My chat hasn't froze, has it? I'm still... Everyone's still here, aren't they? Because it doesn't seem like anything's moving on the screen again. That's not sharp enough.
I'll just get my tracing paper back over here. So here where the little whiskers are, I'm going to do shorter ones. Because the fur's a bit shorter around the, the muzzle of the nose, isn't it? Hi, Belinda. Oh, I'm so glad you wasn't here about 10 minutes ago when I was doing the marker bit. I was probably wrecking markers. <laughs> They've done a base layer of markers and I probably like the not probably not the right way I've used them. But I'm trying to make markers part of my colouring journey. I'd say my fur makes it look more like a rough cat. It's more like a fox's fur, I think, my fur, <laughs> than an actual cat fur. No problem, cat. You probably missed all the laughing. <laughs> I should probably use a reference photo, to be honest, for a cat, but I haven't. Kind of just gone with the shape that we've already got going on in the picture. <clears throat> I'm completely out of frame. <gasps> I'll be. I might. I'll have to watch yours back in the morning. <laughs> I don't know if I've ended up so out of frame. I want to just pull this out a bit. And I'm holding my pencil quite low down just so I've got some control. It's just a very long process for... And I do think it's like skin tone. When you're putting skin tone down and it looks it goes through that ugly stage of it doesn't look like skin and it doesn't look like it just looks a mess. And I think fur is exactly the same when you're doing fur. It's got to go through that stage of different colours that you're putting in. on top of keeping your pencils sharp. So we around the neck of the collar. I'm gonna just colour like 
black colour that out. Acronyms. What acronyms are you doing? <laughs> no problem, Yvonne. Thank you for coming along. just see how long i've been streaming now yeah i've only got about half an hour and then i'll be off as well okay so next up we move to black widow <coughs> i've made all my throat funny now from all that laughing <laughs> So this will darken it up again. Definitely need pencil extenders, that is for sure. I'm out of frame again. I don't it's like Logitech's changed this. The way it's viewed in this camera, it looks dead close up, but I'm not I'm actually out of frame. And I'm only knowing that I'm out of frame because I'm actually watching it on the screen in front of me. Oh, I might have it, Jane. I think I have that picture on my profile. Have a look on my Facebook, my personal one, Jane. Gosh, you put that if she puts that picture on, I've got my long blonde hair on that one. Look totally different. Sometimes I think I should grow my hair back. So I think I'm actually getting that fur is a lot blacker than that which is that's what i was aiming for because it was it wasn't looking black enough it was looking more like a, a blacky gray cat and i want it to look black so that's getting there i just need to turn the page again just to do up here And the darker blue undertone really works well as well. So Belinda, which monkey are you doing? Excuse me. So the highlights that I put in the other cat, I'll put them in last anyway. Oh, thank you, Nick and Tina. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Ashley. I'm turning my cat that way. I do apologise, so I need to keep my wrist in the right way. I 
think black fur is so hard to do. But if I pull it up to camera, you can tell it's f it looks furry. Let me pull it up to camera. Bringing the blue out. You can't see the blue like that in, in my naked eye, should I say. So I think furs are everyone's nemesis really, isn't it? Or quite a few people's nemesis. Oh no. Oh, wow. Well done, Tammy. So no, no blaming it on the shell when you get to school, you'll be there on time. <laughs> so crazy, isn't it, that different people from different sides of the world and it's like a new day where you are and we're still on the same day. But you're in the next day. I find it weird. It's like we all get your Christmases before us as well and your New Year's. <clears throat> I think some of this midnight blue. No, blue moon. Just wondering if I've used too much. If I've put too much black marker down underneath. <laughs> oh you're having a holiday there are you oh lovely okay so let's start flicking this way now need to go to midnight get my pencil tip really sharp again feels weird holding a big full-size pencil again. You'll be able to see better what I'm doing when I get onto the back of the cat. It's because I wanted it. It wasn't black enough on the other picture. So I think I've gone too black on this picture. <laughs> Yeah, Grace, I think, yeah, you're about four or five hours in front, uh, behind you. Because I know when I'm on, I go on Murray and Tonya's, they've just had the tea, I think, haven't you, Murray and Tonya? And I'm, like, ready for going to sleep. When I'm having my tea, like, Ashley and Murray and everyone's, they're all having the dinner.
Yeah, I'm much happier with this cat um, than the other cat, the mock-up cat, should I call it. Hi, Jilly, how are you? Thank you for coming. We're doing the nightmare cat fur. <laughs> oh, have you found it? <laughs> Well, we're all back to normal school life, only my daughter's been back. The primary schools have been back since the 2nd of September and the high schools have been back. My daughter's high school, she's only actually been in one full week since the 2nd of September because of teachers and kids coming down with COVID. But the primary schools have done really well and they've kind of stayed in school. But the homeschooling I've had to do with my daughter while she's been at home has been an absolute nightmare. The programme they've got it on is so hard work to use. But I haven't been able to do any of my study. Just thinking, not put any grey in here. So it's just all a bit black there. I'm going to have to go to Jane's house and study her cat's faces. But they're all different, aren't they? Her cats are really fluffy. And then her other cat's really short. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Oh, I miss my alone time as well, Belinda. I know how you feel there. Just jumping in with shadow again. I've just not put the grey on this leg. Uh, normally I do Thursday and Sunday um, and I normally do 6.30 on a Sunday but that's changing to 7.30. It's just a bit too early and I do 7.30 on a Thursday evening. So 7.30 Sunday and Mondays, uh, Sunday and Thursday sorry. And I'm thinking of doing a morning stream, possibly on a Monday, um, so I can speak to the people down under, because uh, I've met a lot of lovely people on Sunday morning who's not been to my streams before, and they were all lovely, so I'm thinking of doing a morning stream on a Monday as well, but that is to be confirmed. UK time. Thank you, Kat. Oh, Tammy. <laughs> I don't know how you cope. <laughs> I could teach adults. I don't think I could teach kids. Okay, so this is going to be the section now that's lighter because obviously the glow. And this is where you'll see. Oh, thank you, Marilyn.
kind of the underbelly and the back's where two hairs collide. So I'm going to turn it this way for the back, so I do apologise, it just makes it a lot easier for the angle of the fur for me. So like I said, flick curls, all different directions. And that helps you with that texture. I'll move in a bit close because you'll be able to see what I'm doing down the back a bit better now. Hopefully I've not missed ev anyone. Is that a bit closer? I'll bring Midna into the blue section as well here. And I'm just turning my pencil. Well, if you do smooth, if you do smooth animals, stick to smooth animals because you don't waste your pencil as much. Well, it's not wasting it, is it? But you put it down. But you do sharpen a lot away because you have to keep your points sharp, or else your strands come too wide. Is it 1.30 or 2 East Coast time? I think, are you five hours behind me, Shannon? Exactly. It's now, it's 10.24pm where I am. If that helps. Then you can work out how, what your time zone is. What you are behind or in front of me. Marilyn, I was telling, uh, I was just saying to people earlier on when I did the last bit of the membrane um, that uh, I couldn't remember who said it, but I remember someone, it was Tag, and um, said that someone's just used that as a skin tone and it was really good. So I remembered someone saying, I just couldn't remember who it was, so I'm glad you've said that. So everyone, it was Marilyn who used the membrane as a skin tone, the membrane colours I've used. So I'm going to try it out on Deborah Muller's um, Sugar Skull Mast Lady. I'm not too sure on the actual name. I'll have to find that out. Five twenty four PM Eastern Time now. And start turning it back. I'm just following the floor of the cat. I'd love to see Florida. I'd love to see many places. I went for a drive with Ashley. We was video chatting. She took me for a drive around Maine. That was pretty cool. But I'd love to come over to America. I'm definitely going to be in New York in three years' time. That's for sure, because I'm having my 40th in New York. But then I don't know whether to go to New York earlier and go in the December when it's all snowy and Christmassy and lovely. Or do I go just when it's all it's snowy and just January?
Oh, thank you, Jillette. I'm not the best with fur, and I've not done a lot with fur. I think this might be my third animal I've done with fur. So it's my own little flicking seas, as I call it, technique. And if you can pick it up and use it, then fab. If not, I won't be offended. <laughs> Okay, then we're going in with the little Black Widow. So I'll just sharpen him up. It's Black Widow. Black Widow in the Black Widow set, this is. And then we're going back over all the areas you've just done in Midnight. And this just deepens the dark areas up a bit more. I think we'll be saying goodbye to this little pencil as well soon. Oh, look. There goes another one. I'll just try and use it for as long as I can. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Oh, are you having a, are you at the fire pit? Toasted marshmallows. <gasps> I said to Leighton, um, my husband, I'm at it. Come on. I want to move to Maine. <laughs> I just want to move to America. I don't know why. It is. I just want to be over there. I must have been there in a past life. I must have lived in America. And then my mum went, I won't just be able to babysit for you like I do now. If you were in America, I went, yeah, you'll just have to move with me. <laughs> I think I was in awe of the size of the houses that I saw and you have to be a millionaire in the UK to have a house as big as that <laughs> Jane don't you dare hey it'll be a free holiday for you Jane you just have to get your flights Oh, would you miss me? <laughs> that is so crazy. I have witnessed that here, Marilyn. I have seen it where it's rained, but not in such close proximity. Like it was raining at my mum's, which is like literally. We was on the phone, was having a massive thunderstorm and it was bouncing it down about five or ten minutes down the road to my mum's and it didn't even rain i could see the thunderstorm above her house and it was a massive thunderstorm and it just didn't rain here at all it was cool because she was showing me all rain bouncing about a meter off the floor and um, there's me stood in my back garden watching the thunderstorm but not getting wet it was pretty cool See what's happening on these live streams. Look how much I'm getting done, everyone. But it is cool to see when it rains up. But I've never seen it in such close. Oh my gosh, my words. What quite close proximity to like one side of the road and it's raining and the other side it's not. That is a cool phenomenon. It's routine, but it's hard. So were everybody who's in the chat or anyone that's lurking, where you were, what's the worst weather you have that you deal with that you have to prepare for and things like that? What's the worst? Because the worst we have in here, I would say, uh, like gale force winds in the UK, and that's probably about it. Like, I truly think I'd be a storm chaser if I lived in America. I know, I think I have. Like, I've never got so much covered in um, three hours. <laughs> I'm going to have to sharpen this pencil. It's wobbling too much for my liking. It 
it is a big house that Ashley. I had proper envy and all flags and everything and a big massive garage. I was having house envy. Oh, I think this pencils are gonna. It's just broke on me again. And I don't think I'll get it in. Let me see if I can get it in this hardfish. I don't think it'll even go in. Oh, it has. Hurricanes and rainy season flooding, ice storms, ice storms, heavy snow and blizzard. Hi Brenda, what's an ice storm? Blizzards in Canada, the worst here is called a nor'easter. What the heck is them? Tell me, tell me, tell me. The snow, yeah, if it snows here in uh, where we are, you're done for. <laughs> The whole place stops. I'm sorting this pencil out. I do apologise. Wind as it kicks up the fire danger. Oh, yeah. So you in Australia, Della? You wouldn't believe how small I've just ended up, mate. Look at how tiny that is. It's just caught up to mini dink, Luke. I think it's actually smaller. <laughs> That's how much I've just had to... Um... Oh, you didn't even see that because I'm out of frame, Luke. This was dink. What I said has ended its life. And this is what I've just sharpened that down to. Now, y'all seen how big that was like that at the start of this stream. But I have had them replaced, so I can't complain. Really heavy rain that gets through the roof, lightning that blew out the extra melting out box. Oh, gosh. Hurricanes and flooding and mosquitoes. Ugh, I hate mosquitoes. We live in Australia. We can have bushfires one day, cyclones the next, and then followed by a flood. Oh, my gosh. Hailstorms. Oh, shall remind me to tell you about the ice storm of 1998. Oh, yeah. Freezing rain that turns into ice all over the road. Wow. Power lines and trees and live in Chicago area. Oh, my gosh. One snowflake and they're close Heathrow. <laughs> That is definitely true, cat. One bit of snow here and this shut everything. <laughs> is a huge blizzard, blizzard on crack. Snow here too. Southern California, double dink. It was nice knowing you, dink. <laughs> yeah. The Midwest is actually the best place to live and we get all four seasons here. Oh, yeah, that's the thing We in the UK. We either get summer or we don't get summer. We've had a good... I think we've had a decent summer this year. We got through lockdown with some pretty great weather. Um, to be fair. Um, but we're just plain old boring England here. <laughs> Yeah, cat's not that far away. 
going to have to drive to Wales one day to meet up for a colour and a coffee cat. My auntie used to live in Hollywell. And I'm looking, if the no lockdowns happen, I'm looking to go to Wales to the caravan for, not, we don't have a caravan, but book a caravan. <laughs> I'm much happier with this cat. This cat looks a lot darker. And all I did last time, if, let me just see what we are. Yeah, so I'm going to have to call it a stream in a second. So we've done the front legs and the back and the head. And all I did after was I got the marker pen back. Oh, that cockerel. Right, let me zoom out. So all I did then was I got the, which is this one, ice grey, and I just went over and it kind of went like a blender, if that makes sense. It looks like it goes black and all wet and you go <gasps> but it's amazing it's like it blends the pencils as well but then still keeps the hers so weird Oops. and then the next one is this one Went over that. Kind of cool putting the pencil markers back over the top. <laughs> and then all I did when I finished this, I'll show you in a second. I just went over it again with another layer let it dry because it dries a lot lighter and you think <gasps> just covered it all up but you've not it kind of dries and goes lighter again but all this does is just hides any areas you might have not covered because you can only flick you can only flick so much before then the start the color starts merging into one well, this is the first time I've base coated it with pen or marker pen should I say as you can see that's drying that now if I pull it up to the camera you can see my hair strokes are still there. It's just drying. And then once it's dry,
Oh, thank you, Aspie. Oh. As long as he's tall, dark and handsome. Who's this cockerel we want to send and he's to be dark, tall and handsome? <laughs> Well, you can burn your waist. That's good, isn't it? So I'll just get charcoal. And if I just bring charcoal in now and lighten up his back. The good thing is about it, you can just keep going over it and over it and over it. It's so cool. But now, he's staying black looking, where the other cat, when I did this, started looking grey again. And look at the difference now. He's a lot darker cat than this one. So, it has worked out a lot better. I'm just going to put, this is charcoal. I was putting charcoal where the glow is. And then I'll be using the same process for up the tail. Wish I could have a big fire pit where I can chuck all my junk on. Hey, hey. <laughs> I like hey, hey. Goes on a wild adventure on Moana. Just knock that light up there a bit. There we go. It was a bit too bright that I couldn't see what I was doing there then. Now just go back in between. I don't want that one. His black widow. No problem. Have a lovely day at work. And thank you for popping in, Tammy. Brenda, you've just started following me. <laughs> it does I mean it probably is I, I ended up doing it the other day by flute cat <laughs> and I went over it and went oh it's alright it actually works and then you just go back over with pencil and the texture is still there Luke can you see don't know if it's blurring it out now the texture's there, it just deepens the colour up a bit more. So don't be scared, just do it. Just get the um, marker and shove it over the top. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you, Brenda. Do you know, I forget about my Instagram sometimes about say, telling people to actually go follow me on there. Um, but yes, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, I am on Instagram as well. I post all my work on there. And I also have a Facebook group. I'll show you what I said at the beginning of the show. If you see in the top corner here, I have an invite, which is Shell Art invites you to a Facebook live party, Colouring and Ghost Stories, on Friday, October 30th at 8pm. Uh, and that's over on Shell Art and Colouring Friends. Um, I'll be giving all my members um, a free PDF illustration drawn by me. I'll show you that in a second. And the gap on the other side, I've left blank because I've asked the Supernatural Diaries team if they will, if I can pull them in on the live, uh, they'll come on face to face and give you some ghost story accounts that they've witnessed either on the ghost hunts or in personal life. And you'll also be hearing from our resident owner of Supernatural Diaries and Psychic Medium. He'll be coming on, having a lovely chat to the members, uh, tell you all about him and how he's become a medium. Uh, hopefully might be able to pick up on anyone that's there at the time. So that'll be a fun night on Friday. It is going to be on my Facebook, Shell Art and Colouring Friends live facebook live not youtube so please make sure that you've all joined shell our team coloring friends on facebook and come along and be part of the party that night i will be coloring the image that i'm giving to everybody which is i will show you all now i'm just drawing it up on my ipad and getting it all symmetrical because i've just hand drawn it um, for now but this is what i'll be giving to you all let me just pan out a bit more it's not you can't see it all there we go so this is a sugar a botanical sugar skull i called it i drew the sugar skull and then i put the crystals in its eyes and then i put the bow on i was like oh and then i put the butterfly on and I was like oh and then I just started drawing flowers so I need to do something else I need to widen it up I think a bit so I'm putting it on my iPad and drawing it on my procreate drawing it up um, and this is what I'll be giving to everybody all the members that want to be part of that um, colouring and ghost hunting stories I'll be colouring this live on the night I'll be telling you my stories that I didn't tell on Spooktober I didn't tell them all <laughs> I saved some but also you'll be hearing from Supernatural Diaries team. And then the following night, which is Saturday the 31st, if you all follow Supernatural Diaries on its Ghost Hunting with Supernatural Diaries on YouTube, we are live on location the night after where you'll see me going live with all the team and Tony Hindley. We'll be going actually live on location on Halloween. So that will be fun. So, you have to be in it to be part of it. <laughs> so, get on over to Shell Arty and Colouring Friends. I think that should be in the description. On this stream. I'm not too sure. It might not be, actually. Um, but if you go on any one of my videos... If you go on any one of my videos, the link's there. Or if one of my lovely mods would pop Shell Art and Colouring Friends link on. I think Kat did earlier on. It could be a, further up the stream. So you'll all be getting that image free if you're in the group and on the stream that night. So it'll be fun. And everyone loved the ghost stories on Spooktober. So it should be real fun um, on the day. There we go, Kat. Thank you very much. Oh, I love how black is looking now. This is how I wanted him to look the other day. Still not black enough here. So let's just go over it again. Yep, 
So you was all freaking out when I put the marker over. <laughs> Blacken them up a bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. <laughs> so please come on, come on over, because not many. I've not done a Facebook live in a long time, and I did do a live the other day just to advise the group of some charts we'd done, and there wasn't many that came on. So I would really appreciate if. Good night, Jane. I'll be following you soon because I'm up in the morning with the kids. And my daughter goes back to high school tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully she'll stay in school for a bit longer than a week before they're sent home again. So, yeah, hopefully it'd be nice to see you all on that live stream as well on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, that is. So we'll just let that dry off a bit. And then we'll just put flecks of charcoal all around the front of here. Just let that dry a little bit more. Let's just do his nose. That's dried off a bit. All in the cat's ears here. It lightening it up now because obviously the glow be all around the front. Uh, no, sorry, Della. Um, on the Saturday night, on the 31st, on actual Halloween, I'm part of a paranormal group called Supernatural Diaries, where we go ghost hunting. Um, and so on the Friday night, I'm doing a Facebook Live colour along with the image I've just shown everyone. And then on the Saturday night, us Supernatural Diaries team are out live on location for Halloween, where we'll be live on the YouTube ch YouTube channel, Ghost Hunting with Supernatural Diaries. That's on the Saturday night. It's not colouring that though. That's actual live ghost hunting, and we'll have an audience of people there as well, who'll be taken into the live, off on their own to do live visuals. So I, I am part of two events, but one event is my other love in life, which is ghost hunting. And that's the team I'm part of. But the team who will be appearing on the live stream, I'm going to be bringing them onto the live stream to tell you some ghost stories. On the one on the Friday night. It sounds very confusing, I know. <laughs> I'm just going to pluck his whiskers out here. And then get my uniball signal. His whiskers are going to be quite bright. 
hate it when them don't want to work. So I hope that cleared that up <laughs> a little bit. No problem, Della. I'm excited for it. I'm just going to let them dry off a bit because they're a bit too white. I'm going to put some grey over them. They were, this is quite white, this pen, tonight. So this is how I'll just finish the top of this leg off with it as well and then just a bit round here. Probably a bit far-fetched, some of that white, but... Maybe some of the whole barn soft white here. I'm doing this because it's kind of like I'm trying to get the effect that it's capturing the moon and the glow and the moon. <laughs> oh, thanks, cat. It's nice to bring it to life on camera as well, isn't it? Like, start off with what it looked like at the start of the video and then it looks really good. But, so obviously the rest of that I'll be finishing off on camera because it's only the wing that's left. And then I've got, so you could think, I'll put the two pictures side by side so you know what they're like. A lot of you have seen them. So the improvements I've made to this cat he looks a lot darker which was me effect because this one was too gray so all i've got left to do is to put the glow underneath the cat which is exactly what i did up here and then i've got to do the other wing which is exactly what we did here um and then the tail is exactly what i've done here so i don't think i need to do another stream because it's only going to be repeating more the only thing i am going to do on the bits i've finished on the cat is show you these which uh, some of you may already have them. Are you off, cat? No problem. I'll be following you in a second. It's the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Glitter Brush Pens. I'll move that into vision because the ghost stories invites there. So, yeah, this is just the clear silver sparkle brushes. And they're just like a brush pen. And I've got coloured ones as well. I keep unscrewing them instead of pulling the top off <laughs> so hard to get the top off 
So all I did, you squeeze them so they're just like using a water brush pen. There we go. You get them started and you just rub it everywhere. Let me just zoom in. You can see it all. And then once I've done this, If I move it down, hopefully that you can capture the glitter. And that's all I finished it off with. Oh, I need to show you the... Um, so I did all that where the night sky was. Night, Rosalyn. Thank you for coming along. Thanks for all your help, Kat. And all I did then was put this all over. Oop. That's blended in with something there that's gone a bit funny. The white pen wasn't dry. <laughs> right, we'll just watch his head. I'll redo them in a second. All I did was put it all over here. And it just makes it sparkle. It's picking up. Can you see all the sparkle? And it just makes this cat fur all lovely. I'm going to avoid the white bit. But these pens are a lovely addition to have in your paint bags or boxes or trays, wherever you keep everything. And that's all I did with that. Can you see it? And it just made his fur sparkle. It's still a bit wet. You can see it sparkling there. When it's dry, it just has an amazing effect, especially on that sky. See, that's dry now. Can you see it all? So them pens, I'll finish it off, obviously, with um, when it's finished properly. <laughs> I'll have to put his whiskers back on. But, Ashley, they are the spe oops, Spectrum Noir Sparkles. So I have them in the plain and they do them in colour. Put that down there because my little, let me zoom out, you can't see, can you? I'm going to zoom out anyway because we've finished as for colouring. But yeah, so I have, these are the clear ones. I've just used this one and they also do different coloured sets of them as well. And they are really, really good. I really like them. They're only a fine glitter. Um, But they just for finished fur, I see that's drying on that cat now. Can you see that? And it just gives it, I put a video of it. But it just gives it that gorgeous sparkle. When you're doing something mysterious and Halloween, it needs to sparkle. <laughs> uh, they set they have them on Amazon, Ashley. So yes, so this is what the finished outcome is. This one, and all I did is just put some bronze KJ designs paints in the stars. So that's what it'll look like. And when I do my Facebook live on the 30th, I'm going to check with Deborah that I'm okay to do so first, but I'm going to be giving one of these away. So long as Deborah says I'm all right to do so, a coloured version of it. So someone will hopefully be able to get one of these designs from me, coloured by me, should I say. <laughs> Yes, they are really good. See, I did this one. This one's all dry and you can see it really well on this one. It's just hard to capture it in the light. But in the daylight and you actually, I've got a recording of it on, I think I put it on the Spooktober event page, I think. 
uh, but yeah you can see it's sparkling it's really good so that's it for the live streams for this cat um i will be starting on deborah muller's other design as well because i'm trying to get as many done as i can and if i don't do them on live stream i'm going to be doing them recorded i did this little one today uh if you all seen or most of you may have seen he's so cute so i'm showing him off but i did this little cutie today so and i've recorded how i've done his ga it's a galaxy and um constellation star skin so i've done him and the autumn style leaves i've recorded it all so that'll be on my channel soon and i've done this for shannon's color october orange hashtag so if you've got anything orange pumpkins or anything jump onto shannon's hashtag uh, so that's it for this spooktober um events videos and i'll still do halloween theme ones throughout october so thank you very much everyone for joining me on this sunday night if it's still sunday for you have a lovely rest of the evening if it's now monday have a lovely rest of the week and have a good day at work today and thank you for joining me thank you to my mods for being amazing and always here and supporting me and thank you to everyone who's been in chat chatting all night thank you to all the lurkers and thank you to all the new subscribers and for being with me each stream thank you very much good night and stay safe and i'll see you on social media if not i'll see you on my next live stream <laughs> uh, good night everyone